everyone I am back with Pisces reading for the month of June and sorry I was late I was very busy I had certain procedures but well, nothing deep or big performed but something that bruised me and um, I had to stay away for a few days and let it heal I still have a little bit of bruising but I'm much better now I'm feeling better so Pisces this is your reading for the month of June I hope everyone is in peace love harmony and um, I wanted to play some love frequency to bring up the energy of love and I'm gonna go ahead and play it I played it for every zodiac sign reading so here goes yours beautiful so Pisces this is your reading for the month of June so if you have Pisces placements in your chart this reading is for you if you're a cross watcher there probably happens to be a message maybe there's a message here for you okay so let's begin with your overall energy your overall energy for me you're coming up as the king of coins the king of coins is someone who works really hard for their abundance is very stern very stable knows what he wants um, takes his time to build things even relationships okay so you take your time to make your choices you don't um it could be the energy of spirit telling you to take your time in building things not to rush into things but i don't see you rushing i i feel like you're you know what you want you know what you want to do you know how to go forward you're really building on your abundance and you're not you're not pushing it nor are you running towards whatever it is you're waiting for things to come to you and you're waiting to see how things play out okay so this is the overall energy I get for you Pisces for the month of June this is your energy just sitting in your own power knowing your own worth knowing what you want or don't want and not rushing things but seeing how things play out because that's what the king of coins is there it's king of coins is a very stable person very grounded doesn't show too much emotion either but has emotion there it's just that he guards his emotions right for some reason he may be guarded okay so that may be the way you are but at the same time you're balancing yourself out and you're seeing how things work through or what comes to you and you're watching things from your throne <laughs> that's how he looks look at him He's watching from his throne. He's just sitting there with his pinnacle watching from his throne. See how his face is like turned and he's watching. Then we have the Empress in reverse. And this could be a situation or a person you're dealing with, okay? The Empress in reverse is someone, it could be a female, it could be male, doesn't matter. The sex of the card, it can go either way. The Empress is someone who knows what she wants, who knows what she needs, who doesn't tolerate things. And... In reverse she can push you away okay she's an empress she could push you away and not not communicate okay so this is someone who knows her own power but is almost pushing herself away from you or pushing away from a situation or pushing away from the situation with you or you feel like this person has disconnected from you okay then we have the five of coins and the five of coins is feeling left out feeling blinded by a situation you see she's blinded she's not sure what's happening but i feel deep down inside you know what's happening you're the king of coins you're there you're watching things you know that this situation or person or thing isn't working out for you and maybe you're deciding maybe that's not the best situation but you're letting it play out almost like you're sitting back and you're watching to see how circumstances unfold okay then we have the seven of spears and spears is energy it's about you know communication it's about you know trying to fight for something well i don't see you really fighting for this empress or you're really putting up much of a fight it's in reverse it's almost like you're letting things play themselves out and you're going to see what happens in your situation okay then you have the queen of spears the queen of spears is an air sign um person um, Aquarius, I forgot what's the rest, what's, what's air signs? We got Aquarius, is it Gemini? Well, this person, um, she's very balanced. She's very to herself, kind of. Um, she's very watchful, just like the king of coins. And she, she sees, and she knows what she wants. 
And she's also very caring and very communicative. She can be very communicative. She's an air sign here, okay? You see the um, queen of spears. She can also be like the queen of swords. She can cut you out if she feels. And she can be like the empress. So if she feels that you're not being clear or concise. So this is the way I feel that this is a person or a person you're dealing with or maybe someone you're in a relationship with, okay? Here I see the four of coins in reverse. So this is you opening up or her opening up to you and you both sharing together or possibly building together or, you know, because four of coins and upright would be someone keeping to himself. You see how he's holding on to his coins? But in reverse, it's like there's some communication here and... There's an opening up of this relationship. It could be something brand new that's in your life, okay? And then I get the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins is that this particular person or individual, this relationship may work out for your benefit, okay? Um, you just got to be more open, more communicative, and you just have to show more feelings. If you are too much like the King of Coins and you don't let yourself be read or communicate, you may not build this relationship. Okay, so you really want to open yourself up and, you know, you're going to build in abundance. Also, you're building your abundance. This is, could be that you're building your abundance. But I do feel that this is a person you're going to open up to and you're going to communicate with and maybe build more with. Okay, because you got the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Coins is about building your abundance. Abundance can be general in many places. Your home, your family abundance, your commitment, you're building on this commitment. So it can mean general things, okay? Then we have, um, I did um, another group of cards here from Illuminated Tarot, which I found in my daughter's room and I decided to use it, okay? First we have the Ten of Spears. Ten of Spears is like heavy load, heavy burden, carrying something, you know, that's a heavy burden for you. But it came out in the reverse, so maybe this... Whatever situation you were in the in the past, it was a heavy burden, but you're moving forward from that, okay? Then you have the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is like something that didn't work out, but there's two more cups standing. So although something may not have worked out, something better may be coming along, okay? That's with this card. Then you got the Two of swords in reverse and that's having to make a choice between two situations and i feel like you you don't have to make that choice anymore because there is not a second situation there's only the one situation you're dealing with this queen of spears okay so you don't longer have any two choices and now it's almost like you got the two of cups here this is a two of cups yes it is the two of cups and you're building on a commitment or relationship and this commitment and relationship is going to provide you with everything you need because you got the king of cups here it's going to be an open um very connected relationship you're both going to be communicating your needs and wants okay and um the king of cups could also be you needing to balance your emotions also balance your emotions okay you have someone here that looks like there may be some type of love growing here or love interest or something you're you, you wanting to give yourself but it's almost like you're holding yourself back too and you need to balance because i feel like when i see two two of cups here two of cups here the two of cups which is the king of cups it's actually the king of cups i'm seeing him in upright and in reverse and i feel it's almost like you needing to balance your emotions in regards to this new situation you're watching how everything unfolds okay so this is your energy and i feel like the situation or this person you're with and it could be someone you're with now or someone that's coming into your life is going to balance you out and you're going to feel a whole lot better okay and you yourself need to balance yourself out in regards to the situation you're balanced in yourself but in regards to the situation because you come out as a king of coins and a king of coins is someone who's balanced although he keeps everything to himself his emotions how he's feeling and that's what you need to balance okay and there is a situation a new situation it looks like a relationship that is coming in or maybe you already have this relationship within your energy field already okay then you got the um i did the fairy cards too you got 28 and you got 32 you got 18 and 2. So you got a lot of um, 
fives. The number five is great for you. So look up the number five. It's about changes within yourself or changes within a commitment or a situation, okay? So I'm going to read these fairy cards once I find their little booklet here because I put it away somewhere. Here it goes. And we're going to read number 28 in the fairy card is man, an analytical masculine force. So here you go. You're just like in this card. It's just like having the king of coins. You're analyzing the situation. You're looking at things. You're keeping your emotions to yourself, but you're watching to see what's the best route for you to take. Okay. Then you have 32. 32 is how others see you, the moon, recognition. So this is about how you see others. This is you watching others and seeing how things, you know, work themselves out. Watching this new queen of spears, how she is to you. How is this relationship going to work? How, who's this empress? How she was to you. So it was like two different energies here. One that is not, you're not, you're not going to build with because it's being cut off. Either she's cutting it off. She's not opening up to you. Okay. And it could be re in regards to other situations, but I feel like this empress is not opening up. And 32 is about watching and seeing how things go. 18 is about a, a friend or a close companion, someone you can trust. So having that friend, that close companion, and then you get the number two. Okay, so you're going to meet someone. Number two is the clover leaf, a little bit of luck, small gains, a little success. So maybe you're going to have success with this friend or this person or this queen of spears that you meet. Okay, so you're going to build with that. But you're taking your time still. You're taking your time and you're not rushing into it like the king of coins so i feel like you're looking at the situation and you see but if you head towards that queen of spears the situation is going to work but you yourself need to balance your emotions and see how you feel in regards to this queen of spears because i almost feel like your emotions in regards to her is confused you're confused okay all right so sorry pisces your reading was so long but that was your message for the month of june now, I'm going to go ahead and read your oracle cards very quick. you got birth, something new, something happening, something forming. And, and, and in birth, anything you're birthing, you're always, it's in baby steps, right? Little by little. Taking things little by little, step by step. So let's read what's the meaning of this. Um, I pulled out all the little books. Oh, here it goes. You see, I have all these cards. Let's read what the little book says here about birth. And it says, um, that which we work so hard to produce outside ourselves is first born within us. Now the gestation period comes to an end. Bring forth your inner self. Be the change you want to see in the world. So birthing new things, birthing and, you know, becoming more emotionally balanced in this situation in regards to this queen and your feelings towards this empress. So you need to balance yourself and see where you stand. Because that's the way you're going to have a win-win situation. If you're in balance and you don't know what you want and, you know, you're going back and forth and your mind is here but it's over there, then things are not going to work. It's just really balancing yourself. And I feel like once you do that, you're balanced and stable in your life but your emotions, okay? The, he, uh, the king of coins tends to hold his emotions to himself and that's where you need to balance out. And once you do that, if you do it with this queen of spears, there's a win situation. you got the ace of coins, okay? Um, your next message is first ray of power, which is one. That's of new beginnings. One is about new beginnings, okay? And it says, for that one, it says, the first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction. It can be, be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start. The first, first ray also carries the frequency of leadership. It can assess you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. It helps to strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any task you choose, okay? The Ascendant Master, El Moria, I don't know who's that, brings you his particular blessings and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters most to you. Beautiful. The next message you got is from the White Light Oracle. It's Queen of Nagus, which is number five again. Five is about changes. Let's read what that is. That's almost like wanting, needing to balance yourself. Look, balancing, all right? So let's read this emotionally to be inside because she's like 
in her emotions, okay? Let's read what that is. That's the number five. And it says a sacred task exists for, for you to fulfill. It is to be found through connection to your heart. Be open only to those most authentic teaching, teachings which prove helpful to your continual spiritual progress and personal freedom. Cleansing your body, mind, and heart and soul will be a particular benefit at this time again. Cleansing your heart, mind, body, and soul. That's all inner work, okay? Balancing your inner self. Powerful, subtle energies are helping ensure your success. Believe that many positive synchronicities and unexpected alleys will rally to support you. Beautiful message. Okay, so this is your messages for the month of June, Pisces. I hope it resonated with, with you. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.